the, the Climate Change Convention and uh, particularly the Paris Agreement in last December give a tremendous opportunity for the LDCs to look at the way they could implement the SDGs because climate and the uh, SDGs are aligned in the uh, particularly for the LDCs because energy is one of the critical issue you need to look at seriously if you want to uh, achieve any of the SDGs, the 16 SDGs, they are related to the climate, they are related to energy, and then they are also related to the climate. SDGs and climate gives a tremendous opportunity for the LDCs to build their energy systems because their energy system is not yet in place. And because the energy system is not in place, the characteristics of the LDCs, uh, such as the uh, importance and the proliferation of the micro, small scale, and mid-sized enterprises, all of them, one of their main concern problem is energy. And then the main productive sector of the LDCs across the LDCs is agricultural sector and is dominated by the small scale farming system. And none of the energy system of those uh, small scale farming has been addressed. And then the uh, low carbon development perspective give a tremendous opportunity for the LDCs to tackle that issue. And then that will generate income and then that will get the LDCs out of poverty. And this can be done in a sustainable manner. And as a matter of fact, the renewables are adapted to uh, be deployed in that kind of situation because they are modular and then they are scalable. And then you can start from a standalone isolated system to mini grid to the larger system. And then being solar, wind, micro and pico hydro are adapted to that context. So that that give a tremendous opportunity for the LDCs to jumpstart in low carbon development pathway because they do not have any huge investment in their country they need to protect. Such as in the case of industrialized country, the invest in nuclear, you need to, in order to phase out the nuclear, and then you need to, it will take some time. In the case of LDCs, it does not take time, they can jump start. However, there is some fundamental challenges they need to face. One of the challenges is that to have access to financial resources. And then to kickstart reforming uh, their regulatory, leg legislatory systems, and then to put in place the right institution. And uh, the third element is also important for the LDCs in order to have this massive deployment of, uh, of renewables is the access to technology. And then in that perspective, it might be possible for us, as we define for the African countries, Africa Renewable Energy Initiative. And that is uh, to, from now to 2020 to have a 10 giga additional new uh, productive capacity based on the renewable in the African energy system. And between 2020 to 2030, 300 gigawatt. It's not big if you compare to what is needed in the continent. It's not big if you compare to what China is doing, what India is doing, if you look at the size of the continent. But if you compare to what the continent is doing currently, because each year the continent is putting one giga on the system altogether. And then between now and 2020, 10 giga is a huge, huge uh, challenge for the continent.